Hello again and welcome back to another Zero Linux video. I know I promised you that I was going to bring you the last video in the series of scripting with YAD, but today I thought I would do so, bring you something different. A lot of you showed a lot of interest in the custom rices I provide on, on, my, on my website, the four custom rices that I provide, and have asked many questions. Let's address the questions first before showing you how to apply them. First question, will I be making more rices? I cannot say no, never say never. But for the time being, I'm taking a break from that. Second question, will, you, will I be able to apply your rices on Fedora-based distributions or Debian? Short answer, no. Long answer, because Debian and Fedora and other base distros use a different packaging system. And my packages are only available on my repository, which is an Arch-based repository. Last question, can I apply your rices on other Arch-based distros with KDE? Not without a lot of reverse engineering. You have to reverse engineer my scripts, first off. Second of all, you have to add my repository because uh, half the packages or most of the packages that my RICES use are available on my repository or the AUR. So you have to modify my scripts, replace Pacman with AUR, for example, like yay, Pacman s with yay s. And there's a, a lot of uh, variables that you have to account for. Each distro does things differently. So uh, I'm not sure you can apply my rices without running into issues here and there. One bonus question that I was asked not long ago is what about performance? Well, if you own a potato laptop, I don't recommend using my rices. This is a simple answer. However, there is one rice out of the four that you might be able to use on lower end laptops, and which I will show you in a bit. With that said, let's uh, jump onto the desktop, shall we? Alrighty. All right, those are the rices. Zero Dunes, this is the only rice that was created with potato laptops in mind or lower end configurations in mind. This one you can apply on any system, four gigabytes and up of RAM and integrated GPUs. If you, uh, if you have such configuration, that's the only rice you can apply. Do not select any of the other three. Why? I will show you. First off, one, two, three, four latte docs. Yes, the top panels are latte panels, not KDE panels. So as we all know, latte doc uses uh, a lot of resources. So do not apply them on your low-end system. You've been warned. If you, if you ignore my warning and want to apply these rices, it's on you. I cannot be held responsible for that. Zero Nord, one, two, three, four. Again, Latte. And Zero Sweet, one, two, Latte Docs. All right, Latte Panel, Latte Doc. Now, to, for today, we're going to apply the Zero Nord because it's one of my favorites of all time. I spent a week working on that, optimizing it, making it run uh, as smoothly as possible on systems with eight gigs and above and a dedicated GPU. So when you click the button, it will take you to the GitHub. And if you want to study how the script works, you will see that first it will create a, a creating backup of .config folder. It will copy it, not move it so you, keep your uh, settings. It will first remove lightly because the default rice on when you first install Zero Linux will be using lightly. And lightly and Kvantum cannot live on the same system. I don't know why, it just is what it is. It removes the stable version of Latte Doc because that's the one that doesn't work on Plasma 525 and above. And then it will proceed into installing the Git version of Latte Doc and Kvantum, the theme packages, the fonts, and it will start configuring your system. All right, we go back and then read the disclosure. Please, I beg of you, read the disclosure. It's very important. 
This is just so you know what you're getting yourself into. I would like to clarify one very important aspect of RICI. We use custom themes in every one of our RICEs, and those might not get updated very often, if at all, by their respective developers slash artists, which, must, which might result in some parts of the system and apps not to get themed correctly. That, my friends, is unfortunately out of our hands. In case that happens, kindly report back. We will check with them for any fixes or updates. If none are available, we will have no choice but to archive affected rice and hide it until fixes are applied and themes updated. That might happen. Don't be surprised when it does. Some notes before proceeding. Applying this rice will override all your settings. So make sure to create a backup of your system with either Snapper, if you are using ButterFS, or TimeShift. Don't worry though, Script will attempt to create a backup uh, of your config folder before proceeding. Still, better be safe than sorry. And finally, performance. This rice, as with all rices, have been thoroughly optimized for best performance. I forgot to mention here that I'm talking about systems with a dedicated GPU and 8 gigabytes and more. If you have issues, kindly report, report them on our socials, Telegram slash Discord. We will try our best to help. Read. I cannot emphasize this enough. Read. If you don't read and suffer issues, we won't be held responsible. As for installation, all you have to do is this. Copy this command and paste it. I just showed you what it will do, so let's do it. Do it, do it now, do it great. Let's do it, baby. It depends on your connection, it might take a minute. My connection is kind of slow, so... And I'm gonna show you this real time. I'm not gonna do any jump cuts over here. I want you to see the magic happen. Oh, and a side note, in case you are using ZSH, this might reset your uh, configuration because it doesn't take into consideration that you have switched shells. This uh, assumes that you are using the defaults. And my recommendation, and heed my warning, it's... Uh, Preferable if you applied my custom rices right after installing, immediately after installing Zero Linux. Because if you customize your system and then decide to apply one of my rices, a lot of your settings, some of your settings, not a lot of your settings, might not get backed up and thus you won't, might not be able to get uh, restore back to them. So select which rice you want out of the, get, uh, out of the gate, apply it, then start using Zero Linux. All right, with that said, be careful. This will override your rice. It will ask you for your password. Hit enter, it will proceed to removing the packages it needs removing and installing the ones that it needs installing. And ignore this warning, it's because those packages are already on the system. And of course, my rices also include the uh, flatback theming override. Now you can type reboot and watch the magic happen. And I will show you how to fix the ZSH issue. See, beautiful grub, huh? It goes very well with the theme. This was custom created by myself. So. And you can apply this, uh, this grub theme without having to apply the rice. It's available on the website as well. We go into the system. Ta-da! Welcome to your Nordic system. Now, we're going to launch Terminal, and you're going to notice that, whoa, what happened to my uh, NeoFetch in ZSH? That's an easy fix. You just go to the application menu, system, zero hello, post install system config, and switch to ZSH again. XXX. Yeah, you know my password now. Oh, you're going to hack into my system. 
Uh oh. <laughs> All right, wait for it to be done. It's applying uh, ZSH again. All right. Hit enter to exit. You close. You reopen, and there you go. ZSH has been restored. Everything is good with the world. And you got yourself a new rice. That's how easy it is to apply my rices. Keeping all the warnings, reading what needs to be read, keeping in mind everything, knowing your configuration and which rice to apply. And don't apply one rice after the other. Sometimes uh, things might not get uninstalled correctly or installed correctly. Choose one rice and stick with it. And then continue from there. With that being done and shown, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, that was a nice quick video showing you how to apply my rices. And I would like to remind everyone that we have a fundraiser to raising, uh, raising some money for, uh, for, for the bills. Again, to keep the lights on because currently we are running through a crisis. If you feel uh, like you can donate a few, a few bucks, the fundraiser link will be in the description below. Uh, as well as Patreon if you want to support the project on a monthly basis. Uh, and links to our social and to our website, of course, where you can get uh, grab all the the rices from. And with that said, Dark Zero signing off.